シドニー大学の言語文化学部へようこそ。So we are very diverse and terribly exciting, I must say. The great thing about the school is.、Uh, All the academic staff are multilingual and multicultural. In learning a language, we want to know、uh, what other people say, but we also want to know what they mean but don't say. Marhaban, ana ismi Adam, wa ana adros alura al Arabia, wa alura al Francia. Ciao, mi chiamo Emma. Io studio il francese e l'italiano nella scuola di lingue e culture. 各位好，我是李杰，我是悉尼大学毕业的。是中文和社会人类学双学位。Hola, me llamo Roberta y estoy estudiando castellano en el Departamento de Lenguas y Culturas de la Universidad de Sydney. We are not just teaching languages. People are doing all sorts of really exciting stuff. For example, Japanese manga. What is it about about Japanese manga that that are really really capturing the the attention of a lot of young people and a lot of uh, uh, researchers?、Uh, we are also looking at、uh, youth fiction. Teen popular fiction. What are young people doing? What are they writing? Who are reading these texts?、Uh, one of our staff members is、uh, has done a lot of work looking at and documenting the history of classical Balinese paintings. Some of the really interesting questions are:、uh, When Australian collectors acquire these paintings, what do they look for? You know, what is their relationship with the painters themselves in Bali, and how do they keep that relationship、uh, going? One of the things that I've really enjoyed and appreciated from studying languages is the opportunity to learn how to see things from different viewpoints. It gives you a perspective on the world that、um, opens your eyes to 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 another culture, another society. It's only through the language that you can really enter enter another world of of culture or another. Another place. Language skills are absolutely transferable. You can use them in every context, anywhere in the world. Well, through studying languages, I've had a lot of really special experiences.、Um, going on exchange was one of the big ones.、Um, meeting friends from very, very different societies and cultures that I would never have otherwise met. One of the highlights of the trip was、um, right near where we were studying. There was this beautiful mountain that looks like it's made all out of stone, and we decided to go up and just see how far we could get. And it was a really great experience because it's one of the iconic features of the south of France. I always love to see things from different perspectives, and I think that learning different languages is a great way to learn how to do that. I've mainly focused on Spanish and Latin American studies, and that allowed me to go on exchange in my third year. And that was really the experience of a lifetime. It opened up a whole new world for me in terms of career prospects,、um, my music. I joined a choir, the, the Chamber Choir of Seville, and was able to tour with them to South America,、um, working in Bolivia. And I've since returned twice to Bolivia to work and and to Argentina to to give concerts. Knowing Spanish really gave me a huge advantage when I got to Spain. I'd already done two years at Sydney Uni, and that had given me a good grounding,、um, so that I was really quickly, I guess, able to integrate myself in the society and join lots of organisations such as this choir. I guess since I started learning Chinese, it's transfer- transformed、uh, my life in a number of ways. A few weeks ago, I was named as the 2013 New South Wales Rhodes Scholar Elect. Basically, it's an opportunity to an opportunity to study. At Oxford University, I'm starting with a Masters of Anthropology, focusing on China, but I could even t- I could turn that into a PhD project if I wanted to. The exchange I took while at Sydney University to Beijing was an incredible, incredible experience. I got there just before the Beijing Olympics in 2008, and then I went on to Peking University where I studied social anthropology in Chinese、um, alongside the Chinese cohort. It makes you realise how many how many more doors are open to you when you speak another language. There's always the opportunity to go overseas, to go to Italy or to go to France, and to use both my Italian and French language skills and my English skills to teach English overseas or to work in a company overseas, in further study, in the workforce, everywhere. I was lucky enough to go on exchange to the University of Bologna. It was just the most amazing experience I've ever had. It was the best eight months of my life. Quindi, quando si studia la lingua italiana, è perfetto perché si può riconoscere la differenza tra i spaghetti e i ravioli. <laughs>
Learning at the School of Language and Culture is exciting because you learn both a language and a culture and uh, there's no shortcut. If you want to learn in depth about a country, you have to learn the language. So now I would like to extend our warm invitation uh, to you to come and join us and study uh, uh, with us at the School of Languages and Cultures at Sydney.